Happy Saturday! It's Saturday, October 27th. It is a gorgeous day outside and I was just going to check on my tomatoes. Well, the plants are starting to dry up, but I'm still getting some tomatoes here and there, so... Not really enough to like, you know, make a meal out of them, but they're still good to eat. In my shop, I just finished up making this, uh fake roulette wheel. It's actually going to be a stage prop and so you'll only see it from far away but these kind of projects are really fun. I like making projects that aren't necessarily functional but they kind of look cool from a distance. <laughs> so this one is, the whole point mainly is that it makes some noise and what it is is this is a bicycle wheel that I've turned upside down and I put a uh, piece of wood on it that's just a little finial and some odds and ends and this is gutter guard that's the little mesh that you put up in your drain gutters to keep the leaves out and just spray painted gold so that was a lot of fun to make that so i was at the library this week and i have a couple more book recommendations for you the first one is called making simple musical instruments which is just as the title says and creative wooden boxes for the scroll saw this thing is outrageous well, let me show them to you in detail so this one the musical instruments book has all sorts of great instruments that aren't necessarily all made out of wood but there's some great ideas and they got great photos of like a whole bunch Bunch of old hippies and stuff in it but like this one just made out of you know metal conduit xylophone we've this one's really cool look at this this is like a uh, a kalimba you know but they call it a, a rumba box it's like a big kalimba you know a thumb piano kind of thing but that is uh i think that is just totally cool i kind of want to make one of those and hear what it sounds like different types of drums it looks like these are made out of i don't know like pipes or pvc pipes or something and let's see then they got you know other wind instruments here's a wooden saxophone so it actually shows you how to make the reed for it and all that sort of thing and stringed instruments this is cool it's called a bowed psaltery i'm not i don't know what that instrument is but it looks cool and it looks like carlos santana is playing it too so <laughs> Anyways, I, and look at this. <laughs> I thought this was funny. These guys are playing this, uh, these guitars they made using like ice chests. And <laughs> I don't know, it looks kind of crazy, but I don't know. It's a fun book. I, you know, check it out. Now, for those of you who are really into using the scroll saw, this book is really intense. I think this is kind of high level scroll saw work. This is uh, Carol Rothman has put together this book, but look at this stuff. This is like, <laughs> look at these boxes, the cupcake boxes, and what else do we have here? Look at this, can you see that? It's a coffee cup, see it opens up, like that's the steam coming off of it. And, and these, it shows a lot of these kind of boxes and shows you how to make these, you know, bows and ribbons out of wood on your scroll saw. They're kind of like bandsaw boxes, basically, except you can get much more detailed work, you know, obviously with using a scroll saw. And uh, there's a whole section of like food related boxes. Look at this, pineapple upside down <laughs> cake box. Um, and she's got plans in here and, and patterns and everything. So I, I don't know if you're if you're good at the scroll saw, check it out. I mean, some of these more traditional kind of jewelry boxes. But this stuff here, this is intense. Look at this. That I mean, it looks like an actual full size uh, cabinet, but <laughs> it's a miniature. So it's just an itty bitty thing. I mean, that is so cool. And uh, let's see what else we have here. Let's see, there's another one here, chest of drawers box. These are just little bitty boxes. So, uh, I don't know. This stuff, I, whenever I see people do this kind of thing, it just, that level of, of artistry just kind of blows me away. <laughs> but I don't know, if you're into scroll saws, check it out. That is really an awesome book. I wanted to mention a suggestion that a number of people have made about the candy dispenser. Uh, to get the candy to come out all the way so some of it doesn't get stuck in his mouth would be to, when you drill the hole for his mouth, you, you would just drill it at an angle so that it would all, you know, spit out <laughs> and it would come out into your hand. Or you could just, you know, reach in there and pull out the candy the way I do, which isn't that hard. <laughs> but I think it's a good suggestion. Just cut it at an angle and there you go. So I just got done cleaning up. I had fake blood all over me. Here's the uh, aftermath. <laughs> <laughs> what was left? I thought I would show you. There's a, a old shirt that I wore. It was actually just a shirt rag that I'd used for 
staining and stuff, and it still had that on there, and I thought, yeah, I might as well use that rather than uh, get my good clothes all messy. So this is the aftermath of the image that I did for my <laughs> Facebook cover page this week. That was a lot of fun to do that. And after I got to uh, Photoshopping all of that, I can show you the picture of the before and after here. Uh, it was heavily photoshopped, but after doing that, the last thing I did was I, I removed the pupils from my eyes, and it just looked totally creepy. <laughs> so I thought, yeah, okay, that's a good cover page for Halloween. <laughs>